I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Dural Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good morning, Firebirds. I'm Liz Fonseca. And I'm Brandon Martin. Today is Friday, January 20th, 2023, and you're watching the 15th episode of the fourth season of our weekly show, The Rise. For those of us that love Miami for its tropical climate, you'll be excited to see the temperatures finally rise back up this weekend. With a high of 83 degrees and a low of 63, it will be the perfect weather to switch from hoodies to t-shirts. Although we have great weather to look forward to this weekend, let's see what we can expect in today's episode. Coming up, Danisha Gonzalez with an inside scoop on the heroes behind the counter. Hearing some work horror stories that our Firebirds have experienced. And the importance of kindness to our school staff. All this and more coming up on this edition of The, the Rise. Rise. Doral Academy is known for the endless opportunities offered varying from arts to sciences. As we approach the subject selection part of the school year, it's important to explore your interests. In order to offer as much information as possible to all students, the curriculum fair will be hosted on January 28th from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Make sure to attend to inform yourself as much as possible about all the courses listed for the next school year. Talent is a word with many different examples that can be applied. Our theater program is hosting their second annual talent show next week. From teachers to students, this event truly provides everyone the opportunity to showcase their special abilities. But when it went bad, you cut those guys loose. You had markets inside a phony document. You talked to those logbook. I'll ask for a fourth time. You want answers? I want the truth! You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth, son. We live in a world with walls. Those walls need to be guarded by men with guns. Who's gonna do it? You, Lieutenant Weinberg, I have a greater responsibility than you can ever fathom. You weep for Santiago. You curse the Marines. If you want to see your teachers and student bodies perform, make sure to attend the talent show next Thursday at 7 p.m. Being behind the scenes during the lunch rush hour takes a lot of effort. Let's take a moment to appreciate the ladies behind the counter. Anywhere you look, you find joy and smiles. Here at Daryl Academy, we have the best service to offer that. Our lunch staff work tirelessly and ensure we are fed, always delivering our food with a side order of a smile. I think that an attitude positive helps the communication que el trabajo sea ordenado, que sacan las órdenes que salen al día, que se vea al final de la tarde que todo el trabajo que se hizo mediante el día, en base a la comunicación y el orden que hubo dentro de la cafetería, se ve en los niños que salen contentos de cuando cogen su comida. Y siempre estamos a la orden de los niños en cualquier tema y que ningún niño nunca se nos quede sin comer. The lunch staff here at Doral wake up early every day to prepare the meals for all the students. Along with their hard work is a cheerful spirit accompanied with every plate they serve. I think they have like a really good attitude because like their job is honestly like a difficult one and I think that they handle it really well and that they always look like happy to be there and that they never really look annoyed. If it wasn't for them like kids like wouldn't be getting their food and like also like you know like the lunch lines would be a mess and like I think they just like kind of keep everything like straight. La comida aunque no se crea Cuando hay buena vibra, hay sonrisa, las comidas salen más ricas y más sabrosas porque estás poniendo amor en ellos. Y esa es parte de lo que nosotros hacemos adentro de la cafetería. Reporting from Fiber TV, I'm Danesha Gonzalez. Taking care of a school that has over 4,000 students isn't an easy job. Many of us take the school staff who keep the school spotless for granted. Let's take a quick look on how to help out and keep our campus clean. 
This is the campus we walk on every day. But us as students, we don't even look at all the trash that we put around our campus. It's the heroes behind the scenes that take care of our campus. But these heroes can't do it on their own. Help him, help her, help everyone. Keep your campus clean. Although we all expect service with a smile every time we visit a shop, sometimes the customer isn't always right. Let's hear about some of our fellow Firebirds' experience with the moments they would truly never forget at their job. It's like 8.55, the song's midway, and then I see this guy come in, and then he has a big smile on his face. And I was like, oh, okay, good looking customer that I can help out, yay! And then, um, He's like, hi, and I was like, hi, how can I help you? And he was like, oh, my girlfriend came here a couple of weeks ago, and she had this bracelet, and he pulls it out. It's like those um, evil eye ones, and it's like all metal, no, all silver. And then I was like, oh, we have the exact same one, but in gold. And then that, for some reason, I got him really mad, and his face drops in anger. And then he was like, um, no, but I want it in silver. And I was like, okay, well, bad news, we don't have it in silver, we only have it in gold. And then he was like, okay, then what do you want me to do? And I was like, you can always go to our other location in Dolphin Mall. He's like, I just came from that one. And then he turns to me, like, basically jumping over the counter with his finger in my face, me like, that's a policy. And I was like, hello? Like, I just turned to him and I was like, I'm sorry, I can't control the policy. I literally just work here. It was like middle of the summer. I was alone on the sales floor and a guy comes in. He was like, I'm from Peru, I'm a tourist. I'm here to buy some Timberland boots for my daughter. And I go, okay, what size do you need? He says, size five. And because I'm a, such a great employee, I go and get the size five. And then he tells me, I asked you for a size seven. And I go, you actually did not ask me for a size seven, but I will go get it for you anyway. So I go get, I go check to see if we have it, and we did not. So I go, I, we actually unfortunately do not have a size seven. But if you still want the size five, I have it right here. And he goes, no, you guys definitely have a size seven back there because I was here a week ago and they had a size seven. And I go, well, maybe it was sold from a week ago to now. There's really nothing else I can do for you. I can call some other stores. And he goes, no, why can't you make the size five in your hands become a size seven? And I'm in my head, I'm like, I didn't know part of my retail job ex like description was being a magician. With the playoffs right around the corner, our sports teams have been putting in more work than ever. Here's your daily sports report to keep you updated with all the latest athletic news. Yesterday, our Firebird girls basketball team also celebrated their senior night, where they congratulated seniors Sofia Ojeda and Rosa Pierto. Unfortunately, they suffered a loss against Carrollton by a score of 44-29. to The next game is Wednesday, January 25th against Lourdes Academy. Also yesterday, our girls soccer team faced off against Montverde Academy and lost by a score of 3-0. to Today at 6 p.m. is their senior night at home against St. Brendan. Make sure to come out and support. Today, our boys wrestling team is traveling to Fort Myers to compete in a meet against various schools. Good luck, Firebirds. Today, our Firebird boys basketball kicks off a tournament against Westminster Academy. The tournament will continue tomorrow against Terravella. Good luck, Firebirds. Also tomorrow, our girls cheer team will compete in regionals. Good luck, Firebirds. Yesterday, our boys soccer team celebrated their senior night with a win against Somerset Academy Silver Plains by a score of 2-0. Luis Portillo and George Rodriguez both scored en route to victory. We talked to George Gonzalez after the game to see what senior night means to him. I'm very happy to be here, very happy to be part of this team. Coach McDonald, the managers, and everybody that, that put hard work into this senior night uh, did amazing. And I'm very happy that I ended my, 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 senior, my senior career with, with this beautiful win. That's all for this week's sports report. Now back to your anchors. With the gradebook closing today, we have to make sure to stay on top of our tasks. Here are your daily announcements. 
Firebird TV will be selling world's finest chocolates all throughout the month of January. You can purchase from any FBTV member for $1. Firebird TV will be hosting a Chipotle fundraiser this Monday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Make sure to come out and support. Subject selection forms will be given out this month. They must be returned to your language arts teacher by February 5th. Whether to you an act of service means providing a helping hand or instilling hope in others, a simple smile can illuminate and contribute to the community around you. Thank you for tuning into this edition of The Rise. Reporting for Firebird TV, I'm Brandon Martin. And I'm Liz Fonseca. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias at Firebird TV. And we hope you have a great weekend.